Sir, have you heard the good word of fuck you? I, I, I'm trying to... I'm trying to do an intro here, bud. You done? Buddy Agrippa. Hey guys, Defender here again, playing Amnesia the Dark Descent. And Agrippa here is telling me about John Wayne. This fucker keeps talking about where. So apparently, you listen to the gears. And apparently. Okay, you know, you know what, buddy? I love you and all, but, dude, I've been looking so much for this fucking thing up here. So. The. When he's fucking talking to you, you're gonna be just listening to him and not hearing the gears, so I don't know why the fuck. Orbs, yeah, good. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I'm a little ticked off, not gonna lie. A little ticked off. But not many orbs are left. It's good. God, how do I box? There we go. So now I got the. I ne Yes, brave man. There proceed to where others wouldn't. You know, the number of cavern temples gather whole collection of warps. You see that? It's, it's easy to say since it's like a. Anywho, now that that's working, I can get the levers working up here, and then we can continue on. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? Today has been a wonderful day for me. Tried to get a, uh, a controller to work for a uh, PC port of a specific, that was a specific game. I might may or may not do it on YouTube here, um, uh, but the controls were all switched around, and the camera would always directly look up. So yeah, hopefully I can figure that out. Cause then unless I'm kind of down money that I paid for the game, but the fucking. Anywho, you know, I just, I, that's, that's my own personal problems, let's, let's worry about Agrippa's problems here, and Daniel's problems, right, let's, Kerchunk, and a Kerchunk. There we go, freaking progress. If a monster comes out of one of these fucking doors, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm just gonna throw everything off my desk, and my desk has a lot of stuff on it. Bitch, if you send a monster out for me. Oh, you're, not, you're gonna get the one, two from Defender. Oh, he's like, oh, you've gone too far. He's like, oh, well. It's, uh, oh, it's going wonderful. Thank you, Agrippa. I have a weird feeling that you're evil, but uh, until, until you stab me in the back. We're, we're, we're good friends, okay, where are we going? Left, right, left, right, let's go right. Because right, right is always right, unless whenever it's wrong, then it's left. Okay. Doors! Let's open some doors and smack ourselves in the face! For the stupidity of that freaking thing, this is Mayor's note. Oh, okay, Weyer taunts me from the other side. I trusted him with my true reason for my efforts, and he still insists on releasing Agrippa. Uh, oh, this is Exal Alexander. How an enlightened man can show such a lack of compassion and a seat of power disgusts me. I can't bring myself to part from Agrippa as he is and has been for centuries my only link to the worlds beyond. That's really weird. You've been keeping a man locked up in your dungeon for centuries. Yeah, it's just, uh, okay. Weyer claims that he tries his best to release me from my banishment, but that he needs me to give or me to give him Agrippa first so he can help to first he could guarantee success I would happily oblige but how am I to part from him in my return might be denied I know what they are capable of I have seen their deception optimism is a yeah, is a most helpless feeling but I must retain it I shall prepare for his release to release Agrippa without killing him Weyer told me to feed him a tonic tunic made from a paralyzer a vitae and tamperator yeah, poisonous fungi should work as a paralyzer if I can find the interior, <laughs> internal gland from a large specimen. Okay. The 
the choir seem to be in the fertile grounds of the choir. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, for this sport, or this sort, I should then uh, be able to extract its components with the proper tools. The vitae can be extracted for, uh, as usual from any agonized human victim's blood. That's really weird. Just need large amounts to distill it properly. Remember to collect this during the next torture session. Tampera, uh, on the other hand, will provide more difficult. I don't think it exists in this world. Wonderful! Simply writing the word with these letters looks wrong. I believe it's proper, uh, property of the secretion in the water-dwelling... Kernick? The water-dwelling Kernick. Is that the... Oh, no. Is that the, is that the water thing? Is that the, is that the killer fish? I will have to address Weyer with this, as he will have to supply me with a host as a properly prepared well... Uh, should suffice to contain it. A properly prepared well. Huh. Okay. Is that like, is that Weyer's note? Uh, no, it's made of a mixture made with three ingredients. Okay. So. Now that I got that in here, we'll take a look around at this door and we'll see where this leads. This is the Kwa! Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how Father must feel about his craft, being an artist and relying on one skill to perform. Something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. Yeah, you know, cutting into people should be something to be proud of. Oh, look at this all nice and lit up with candles. I guess I won't need my... Smack myself in the face with a door. Oh, this, this is a beautiful looking room. Okay. It's August 1839. The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. I must be seeing something here. Oh, hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces a knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A cold-blooded killer. Hurry. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. Paint the man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. Oh, do I have to, buddy? I'm sorry about this, man. I didn't do anything. The man, cut the lines, paint the man, cut the lines. Please, the man. Daniel's lost his, his off his rocker here. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Okay. Daniel's a little crazy. Also, he's not doing too well right now. And Sandy's going. That help? No. Okay, well, oh! Hey, buddy. Just hang in there. Hey, you gonna say anything about this room? Man, I scared the prisoner. The ritual began. Okay. Now that Daniel's seeing bodies hanging, oh, God, bodies everywhere. At least they're not on the floor. Okay, let's just continue on. Daniel's a little losing his mind here, but that's perfectly fine. You know, we'll just go in the main hall. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of down in the... A whack computer! What are you doing? In frustration, he smashed it against the bedpost. Ooh. Okay. This is... What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours. But now you only seek misplaced revenge. Justify your violence. Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? 
It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. It is curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Okay. Oh, there's gonna be something in the Iron Maiden. And the Whispers start. Oh, God. <laughs> Wasn't expecting blood to pop out of there. I was expecting, uh, something else. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm getting a little, a little nauseous with the Zubru. Uh, we're just, we're just gonna, we're gonna touch it. That's what we're gonna, we're just gonna smack. Okay. Forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip for just a moment. His knee jerked, and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and began to leak. Ugh. Okay. I'm not doing good at all. I feel a little drunk. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, God. Not doing good. And I think some of them them. Damn it, that's not doing his shit. I don't know like when it's just like, oh, this, this is the thing that you need to have at this point in time, or it's just a... It's just like a thing that's like, it's just there it's for the story, but... I'm hearing shit. Okay, so this is dark as fucking hell. And Daniel, just breathe, man. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Yeah, let's light this thing. Look at the light, yeah. There we go. We'll just stare in the light for a little bit. Recollect our thoughts here. Okay, so Alexander is probably so he was originally he was the, the um the shadows uh, target at first, but at some point Daniel it was put upon Daniel. So maybe Alexander's been trying to get rid of the shadow. Uh, by using Daniel, or... I don't know. But I must be getting close to the end of the game here. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna see what's all the way over here. I'll cross the bridge, because that's probably where I need to go, but... Okay, this is fucking bigger than I thought. Okay, so we... Daniel finally calmed the fuck down. What? What? Um, I hear something. I don't see anything. Okay. Okay, we're being chased. We're being chased. We're being chased. Okay. Mm -mm. Okay. He's like right behind me. Sick, sick mushroom dropping skills, bro. Oh, he is right behind me. I don't know where to go. Okay, yeah, he hit me. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, he's gonna get me. He gotta get me. I like swoosh through here. Okay, or just I'm gonna take a nap here. Hide and wait. It's kinda hard to hide and wait when you got Mr. No Face dragging his little cleaver on the ground. Yeah. I'm sorry, but fucking This game's a little bullshitty every now and then. And after the the time that I had trying to get this fucking controller to work with the game it's, it's not been Yep, yeah, there he is. Okay, so there, I didn't get spotted that time. I don't know how. I mean, what if he would just spawn like right behind me, and I just happened to look around? He's like, "Oh, there's a man here. I'm gonna fucking kill him." Find, her. Find a who? Find who? Me? Question mark. Box. Oh, it's fails. I can throw myself in the pit of hell. Oh, I can climb up on this. Oh man, this, this would have been a way to loop around when I was being chased by freaking No Face over there. That's right, I called you No Face, bitch. What are you gonna do? Alright. But. Okay, okay, so I sprint and he, he thought he heard me. He's like, oh, is there somebody running over there? Alright, we're gonna open the door. Just gonna gently close that, and we won't have to worry about Mr. No Face. There we go. Oh, got a flash back. 
The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. Ugh, okay. Yeah, more torture. A bloody hammer. That's nice. Um, was there something I needed in here? A piece of the orb. Oh, okay, so I get, I'm assuming each room... Oh, maybe there's a piece of the orb in the Iron Maiden room. Son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this with. It's... Okay, that's way too heavy. I'd say if it was... It was nice and... Light, I would take it with me and just smack no face in the face, and maybe he actually would get a face from it. Okay. So it appears that all the orbs are in different places. Okay. So just the Mr. Droop face, did he die? Because I remember I saw like his body before, and I thought he was there again. Alright. need to be very cautious now. Yeah, you're here, you son of a bitch. You know, this would have been a lot easy if, you know, you just fucked off and went somewhere else. Just saying, bud. Just, just saying. A little bit of word of advice. Nothing interesting here, nothing unusual. Okay, let's not throw myself in the pit of death. Okay. I have a feeling if I would have brought him over here, he would just stand over there and then eventually he would... I'll find another path over to kill me, so. Let's see, we have another room here. And a weird looking mushroom. Do I need this? Is this what I need? Looks important. It might be possible to break open. Well, I do happen to have this. Poison gland. I don't know if I should have just picked that up with the Baron. Oh, it's the, um. No, oh, what is it? The bull. It's a. The thing where you put a person in there and you light the fire and then it cooks them alive and it's it's horrible. The uh, steaming bowl, something like that. Ah, well, I guess we'll learn about it. The trader did not know what to think of oh, the brass bowl. The brass bowl, as he f was forced to enter it, only when the heat of the flame began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize that it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument, which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull below. Or bellow. Hello? Ugh. That's probably, probably one of the worst ways. If I were, if I were ever being tortured and I had a choice, I would definitely not choose the brass bull. Because that's just... That's just pretty hellacious. I don't, I don't like it. Was the, was the water monster in there? I'm not jumping in there to find out. So we have two pieces of the orb. How many things of the orb was there? Can I smash them together? No, it won't stay together. Okay, so I need like some kind of force to uh, keep them together. Okay, so that's two pieces. I'm assuming there's probably six or seven if I were to guess. I was probably told at one point. Um, but we'll just have to find out. Okay. I think I'll grab one more orb piece and then I will call this a video and then I'll pick it up in the next one. God, another pit of hell. Damn it, I'm going to have to cross the bridge over to where Mr. No Face is at, and I really don't want to talk to Mr. No Face. Alright. Oh boy, very red in this room. I don't know why he's not really going insane right now, because, I mean, it's... It's kind of darkness, but I, I, I'd i count it as darkness. I don't know why it's not affecting his and Daniel's insanity. Maybe he's already went insane. Maybe that's, maybe that's the end of the story. Alexander's actually Daniel. Just uh, it's like a weird alter ego, weird borderline personality disorder, something. I don't know. Okay, we're getting getting back in the weird view. There it is. 
right, so that's three. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get our normal vision back, and then I'll call this an episode. All right, so we got three pieces of the orb. Uh, we'll probably finish the orb collecting, and uh, maybe even meet Alexander. Maybe even finish the game. I don't know. So. Uh, as always, I hope to uh, defend you guys later.